Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 12. And further, by these, my son, be admonished of making many books, there is no end. There is no end of making many books. And all these cat sale books now. I mean, for what? We got the book. Right, that's right. Don't we? When we got the Bible, we need all your extra books for the basic instructions. Like, 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 right. TD Snakes, he got him some books he's selling. Right. Right. Create a flow of dollars. Right. 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 Price is not. That, that's what his name like. That's not his real name. Right. A lot of people don't even know that. Creflo Dollar. That, that man's name is not no Creflo. Right. And his wife's name is not Taffy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They're being pimped out here. His yeah. name means create a flow of dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So he went <laughs> Creflo Dollar. Sound good, don't it? Uh, it just so happened Creflo Dollar teaches prosperity rapping, and under the skies of getting money. Rapping, when the Bible don't talk about that, that, that had nothing to do with prosperity. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's, get, get, let's get that though. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 12. And further, by these, my son, be admonished. Of making many books, there is no end. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. The whole, the whole matter? The whole matter. Half of the matter. The whole matter. My opinion. The whole matter. The whole matter. Come on. Fear God. Fear who? God. Fear the Most High. Come on. And keep His command. And do what? Keep His command. They got to say, you know, the religion or something. Keep His command. Keep His command. <laughs> For the most high and keep his commandments, right? Come on. For this is the whole duty of man. No, if you want to do it. It is the whole duty of man. If you feel like doing it. The whole duty of man. <laughs> That's the whole duty of man. That's the whole duty of man. For the most high God, keep his commandments. That's your duty as a creation of God. Right? Come on, brother. Yeah, that's okay. We're we going to go to the New Testament, too. We're going to go to the New Testament, too. And go this way. Let you know it all add up. Only thing you're not doing is sacrificing for your sins no more. Christ is right. sacrifice. That's right. No more priests in the temple. That's right. There's a little breakdown right here about the priests and them just go to the temple. And all that sacrifice, Christ took over all that. He's the sacrifice, the offering. Right. The temple's within. He's the priest within the temple. That's right. And he's the soon returning king. That's right. That's something. But you still keep the commandments. It's just when you read the Old Testament, you see what, and the priest shall take a bullock and wring its neck. You ain't, that, that's not what you're under. Christ is the perfect sacrifice. Right. You're under his blood now. That's right. That's all it is, man. But you still keep the commandments of God. All right, Matthew. Verse 14. Verse 14. For God shall bring every work into judgment. Uh -huh. So every work into judgment. Mm -hmm. With every secret thing. Every secret thing you go ride Masons. Huh? Or even us up in her. That's right. Right. Anything you thought you done got away with. Right. What you really doing on the other side of midnight, right? That's right. Huh? God will bring every work into judgment with every secret thing. Right? Come on. Whether it be good. Uh -huh. Or whether it be evil. Or whether it be evil. I second witness that in Revelation 14. Because uh, Drake said, oh, that's the Old Testament. <laughs> and you'll hear that from people. Right. Like, you know, that's written in the Old Testament like it don't hold no weight or something. Old Testament is still valid. <laughs> right. The Old Testament is still valid. It's just ain't how you atone for your sins in the Old Testament ain't valid no more. Christ is the sacrifice. It all right. points towards Christ. Because ain't nothing new up under the sun. Yeah. 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 Alright, look at the second witness on that. Fear God, keep his commandments, hold do your man. Second witness, Revelation 14. We're gonna go to chapter one first. Down here we go to chapter one to show you, you get a blessing if you read about the scriptures. You know, some people tell you stay out of Revelation if you're not a learned elder or a scholar. Because right. you gotta go to some theology school and learn all the symbolisms. <laughs> you can be cursed and have nightmares. <laughs> so Revelation one tell you it's a blessing. Right. <laughs> right. It's a blessing. So we go there first, and then we gonna go to Revelation fourteen. We gonna read what we just read in Ecclesiastes. Fear God, keep His commandments. Right. That's your whole do. Revelation chapter one, verse one. 
the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him. Revelation means the revealing. Yes, this right. is the revealing of Christ, right, right. which the right. Father God gave to him. Chain of command here. Come on. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophet uh -huh. and keep those things which are written therein uh -huh. for the time is at hand. So you get a blessing if you're hearing the words of this prophecy and keeping those things which are written therein. The time is at hand. What time? The return of Christ right. is at hand. Right. So make sure you find doing what God says is a blessing. It's really that simple. Let's 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 get that witness real quick. Revelation 14. Uh, 12. Revelation 14, 12. Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. That's how you know the Old Testament is still valid. Let nobody tell you that. Right. Alright, come on, Ebro. Here is the patience of the saints. Uh -huh. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. Here are they that keep the commandments of God, the true saints. Come on. And the faith of Jesus. And the faith of Jesus. So it's the commandments of God in faith of Christ. That's what we're talking about here. You got to have both. It's, it's, it's faith and work. That's right. Faith without works is dead. It ain't just good enough saying, I believe, but the work not behind her. And you can't just say, well, I'm, you know, brother, I live by the commandments. I'm perfect already. I believe Christ. You can't say that. It's the commandments and faith of Christ. All right? One more of them down in Revelation. Revelation 22, 14 through 16. So when they try to tell you the commandments, you know how to keep the commandments, kindly take them to the last book of the Bible, the last chapter of the last book of the Bible. Six verses from the last scene. And we're going to read this scripture. <laughs> we ain't got to keep no commandments. That's death, man. Same thing Satan told Eve. Trip about that. Say so he told Eve you ain't got to take heed to the commandment. Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. And behold, I come quickly. I come what? Quickly. The Lord say, I come quickly. Come on. And my reward is with me to give every man according to according as his work shall be. So he's going to give to every man according as his work is. You will be rewarded according to the work you done put in. We talking about accountability here. You will be rewarded according to that work, what you was doing. Either you were spiritually flipping or you just were sitting on yours, hiding. You ain't never got off the porch. Right. And, and right. we go directly with that is Romans chapter 14, verse 12. So then every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. Romans chapter 14, verse 12. You hear that? Everybody gonna give an account. Uh, what verse were you at? Revelation? Yeah, yeah, we don't have to. Verse, verse 13. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Bless are they that do his commandments. You hear that? Blessed are they that do his commandments. We talking about we talking about commandments still here. Right. Blessed are they that do his commandments. That they may have right to the tree of life uh -huh. and may enter in through the gate into the city. You hear that? Blessed yeah. are they that do his commandments that they might have right to the tree of life and enter in into the gates of the city. You get the tree of life by keeping the commandments of God. That's right. In faith of Christ. Right? So don't let nobody tell you there's no commandments. That's right. Yes, there are. Come on. He said they got 19 to see. Okay. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Them are lawbreakers. You want to know what a whoremonger is? You want to know what an idolater is? All them was given as laws in the Bible. You stay away from them. In the Old Testament. So in order for you to biblically know what that is, 
you have book readers, you want to have to break that barrier you got with that Old Testament. Right. And go on back to that Old Testament and read the definition of an icon. Right. Of an oil right. right. You got to learn to read the Paul says in Romans 7 7, I had Ooh. not known covenants yeah, unless the law had told. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. so you can't know what the law is in the first five books of the Bible. So it's impossible for you to understand what the law is and, and, and uh, yeah. or understand, say, sin and not know what the law is. So right. sin is transgressing of the law. Sin is breaking of God's commandments. That's what the sin is. You want me to continue down? Yeah. Verse 16. I, Jesus, have sent mine angels to testify unto you these things in the church. Mm. I am the root and the offspring of David. Here it is. He say, I'm the root of David and his offspring. Uh, I'm the beginning of David because I was before David and I'm, and I'm his offspring. How deep is that? Before Abraham was, Christ was, right. Christ was before Abraham. Christ was in Genesis. Let us make man in our image. He is, you know, he's the firstborn of God's creation. He is the tree of life. Yeah, right. And the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, Come. And let him that hear it say, Come. And let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life free. Nah, you're going to charge him for it. Of, of water of life free. Top Tigers Club. Free. <laughs> Lord say, if you want this, it's free. You charge nobody for this. You got some brothers that do that, though. Some brothers are charging for what you heard in here today. You know, brother, you can get this lesson for twenty nine ninety nine of Daniel Solomon's excellent right. precepts. Yeah, right. Um, this thing free. It went up ten dollars. It used to be yeah. nineteen ninety nine. Right, Christ said. Oh, shit, Paul, he even Paul. Everybody, people say they follow Paul. Paul say he teach the scriptures without charge. Right. You don't charge nobody for this. Right. It's free. All right. Verse eighteen. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add to, unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Here it is. So ain't no adding to the scriptures. A lot of people are trying to bring their little various doctrines, like you know the Mormons. Oh, brother, we got the Bible, but we also got the Book of Mormon of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, or the Quran, or the Quran. The comic book, right? What do you call it? The Lutherans have the um, Ain't no, ain't no add to the word of God. It, the Bible tells you what, what, what those with it. Right. That's it. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, That's right? And out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. Mm -hmm. He which testified these things said, Surely I come quickly. Woo. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. <laughs> no doubt. Let's get back. Move to Matthew 7. Matthew 7. Old Testament. People talk about the Old Testament. The first person. You know, that 19. Where he's stuttering and stammering. Yeah. You can take them definitely to uh, James chapter 1, verse 22. Be ye doers of the word. And not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. You deceiving your own self. Break that up, Gideon. What they talking about? Meaning, uh, like Murph said, Old Testament, New Testament, be doer of the word, and mean to keep the commandment, or else you're deceiving yourself. And the truth is not in you. Gotta be a doer of the word, not just hearing it, not just on the sideline hating. Shall we sing? Uh, yeah, Matthew 7. Let's get back to it. He's in Matthew 7 before we jump. Verse 22. We're going out of 28.